Uh, oh my god. Prices in Yu-Gi-Oh! have somehow escalated again, but what's worse is that people are surprised. Um, I'm going to be ranting a bit today about this topic because, um, you know, having played this game for a pretty long time, I'm not really a stranger to price increases and, um, I don't see why people freak out about them. However, I do have a question that I've just been wondering forever, no one seems to ever think about this, um, in the midst of the complaints and the hype and the everything. Who makes these prices? Like, seriously, guys. Alright. <clears throat> I get that prices will increase. I get that prices will go up, prices will go down, you know, as cards get more popular or less used. Um, you know, new cards that are getting a lot of hype will, of course, you know, be expected to be more expensive. My question is, where do the prices, these exact prices come from? Is there an entity, a person that makes these prices? Because think about it, okay, um, we'll take the Photon Shockwave sneak peek. Isn't that when Rescue Rabbit came out, like Photon Shockwave, right? Okay, so, um, Rescue Rabbit came out in Photon Shockwave, and uh, it was like 80 to 90 or something on sneak peek day, I don't know, that's how much it was in my locals, maybe yours was different. Alright, my question is, who is the person that says that it is 80 or 90 or $100 and like why does this person or this group of people have enough influence to make everybody else believe it? You know, at most sneak peeks and most just days at locals when you're looking, you know, when you want to know how much you value value your cards, um, you look on say Troll and Toad, Troll and Toad says this card is worth $34.99, so okay I value it at $35. Alright. Where do these prices come from? Yu-Gi-Oh cards do not have MSRPs, people. And for those who don't know what that is, like, manufacturer suggested retail price. Okay, single Yu-Gi-Oh cards don't have MSRPs. There is no value for them. I get that this is a secondary market, so it's kind of based on, you know, how much people want it. But what I want to know is who, like, who makes this card worth 70 and why does everybody else just suddenly believe it? Who is the first person to say, that um, Forbidden Lance would be 30. Like, you know, how come it stopped at 30? Why didn't it go higher? Why didn't it go lower? Like, what I want to know is, why do people just believe what they hear, you know? Who's thinking of these prices? Someone, I mean, there has to be some, some entity that makes this price. And my next question is, why don't you just make it lower? Like, if we as players refuse to pay $30 for a Forbidden Lance, or, you know, 150 for a Megalo. You just refused to pay it and said we were only going to pay a dollar fifty for Megalo and no one ever bought them, wouldn't the price have to decrease? I mean, you know, if people just outright refuse to pay more than, say, five or ten dollars for any given Yu-Gi-Oh card, which I think would be totally logical, but it's another rant for another time, wouldn't these prices have to decrease? Vendors wouldn't be able to sell them, Trollanto wouldn't be able to sell them, wouldn't they have to cut their prices, so why don't Yu-Gi-Oh players just do that? Ask me. All I want to know is, you know, who is the person, who is the person that makes these prices so? Who says that a certain card is going to be 60 on sneak peek days? I mean, I know I'm sure it's kind of a group thing, but there has to be that, that first eBay listing that said 60, or that, you know, that first person who just kind of mentioned it as well, yeah, it's going to be like $70 on sneak peek day, and magically it's $70 all because somebody said it. I don't understand that. Um, I I want to know, you know, why 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 is this so, and why do we continue to just kind of blindly agree to these set prices? I don't really get that. Uh, this doesn't make sense to me. Um, so <clears throat> tell me, guys. Leave your comments below down here. I want to know um, what Yu-Gi-Oh players think. I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh mainly because of you know prices. Um, but I just want to know, like, you know, what do you guys think, like, where do these prices come from and why do we believe these prices just sort of automatically and just continue to pay for them? I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to just not pay for these cards? Wouldn't the prices go down then? I don't know. Uh, well, that was my rant for today. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I mean, a lot of the things in this game don't, but, um, <sighs> whatever. That's my rant. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, remember that you can subscribe, don't know where the button is, but you can subscribe, and thumbs up, I want to get to a thousand subscribers, and I'll be happy if you enjoyed this rant, be sure to do that, 
and leave your comments or video response below. Um, also, read my blog and add me on Google+. Bye, guys.